Hey, this is Christina Loyley, and today I'm going to be doing a brief mini lesson on the features that you could use through Animoto. This is software that my sixth grade students use at the end of the year to create book trailers. The premise of the project is for them to take a book they've already read at some point throughout the year and create a trailer for it, much similar to that of a movie trailer. Um, once all the students have created their trailers, um, we preview them as a class, and then hopefully it generates interest where other students will end up reading these books. So the first thing they'll do is they'll get a login and a password. It'll open up to this page where it says My Videos, and they're going to go up to Create. We're going to be creating an Animoto Memory, not Marketing. So you want to make sure you're in Memories. Hit Create. The first thing students are going to have to do is pick a background template for their book trailer. Um, I always suggest to click on All so they can see everything. And they want to browse through and pick one that best fits in the genre of their book. So as you can see, there are ones where it looks like it's more of an Earth-type theme. There's a dance party one, um, a haunted house if they have a horror genre. The only ones they can't select is anything here that says premium. This is going to require extra payment. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick um, this one here that says fire. It's going to give me a brief preview. If I decide that I like that particular background template, I'm going to hit Create. So the first thing students are going to do is to add in pictures and then put in text. They should have about 10 pictures. Um, I always tell them 10 would be the minimum. The maximum should be about 15. So when they add in their pictures, they click in the center. We're going to add in a picture first. And we're going to be using the free stock content photos from Animoto. So they would click on Photos. These are all free. They could browse through the categories and pick ones that best go with the story they're telling. So I'm just going to pick three random pictures to show them how to upload them. So I'm going to go to Travel. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to click here. The little check mark is going to light up blue. So I know that it's selected. And I'm going to add it. We're going to go to our second slide and do the same thing. Go into the free photos. I'm going to go to Nature. I'm going to select this one with the butterfly. And I'm going to do one more. Go to Animals, and we'll select it. So once they have all of their pictures, they want to add in captions. So they click on the lower right-hand corner here. And what they would do is essentially tell the story from the introduction to the rising action all the way up to the climax. They don't want to give away any plot twists or the ending of the book. So I'm just going to type in random things in order to show them how to do it. Okay, and they have to save it. Okay, and again, when they're doing this, they're actually going to be typing in things about their story. I'm just showing them how to do this. If they decide they want to do a slide that does not have a picture, it just has text, it's the same thing. They click in the center, go to the T for text, and just type in whatever they would like. So once they have all of their pictures and their captions put in, if they choose to change the song, they can. You can go up here to change song. Animoto is going to give a couple um, suggestions that best go with the background template that was selected. However, they could browse the full library by clicking here. Everything's going to come up alphabetized according to genre. Um, there are filters you could also use here. So I might go with, I'll click on Love. They could also use filters for Mood, so I'm going to go with Calm. And we're going to preview this one. If they decide they like that song and they want to change it, they could click Change Song. The new title will pop up here. And then the last thing they're going to do is preview their video. If they decide they like it, they'll be able to click Produce. If they don't, they could click Continue Editing. So 
again, if they like their video and they feel that they're done, they can click Produce. Otherwise, they could click Continue Editing, where they could continue to add in pictures, change the caption. If they decide they want to switch around any of their slides, all they have to do is click on them and hold it, drag it over, and it'll change places. So they could do that if they want to move any of their pictures around. So those are some of the features for Animoto. Again, this is a great project. My students really enjoy it. Um, and at the very end of the week, we kind of have an Animoto book trailer viewing party where we put them up on the big screen. We watch every single trailer that all the students made, and we're able to kind of talk about which features we really liked and which books we're kind of interested in. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I look forward to seeing my students' completed projects in June.